guys, it's Hallie, and today I'm going to be doing a back to school clothing try on haul. And I feel like people either love these or they think they're boring. And um, if you don't like them, you don't have to watch it. If you do, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I got a lot of things this year, but I tried to buy things that were fairly cheap. Um, the majority of my things I got at this website called Shein or Sheen or, or whatever. I don't know. I'll put the link in the description. Um, the thing about the store is that their clothes are like fairly cheap, but you never really know what kind of quality you're going to get. Um, most of them are good, but some of them are kind of thin on the thin side. So they might be a little bit see-through, and I know that. Um, they're probably not going to acknowledge it <laughs> unless it's really bad. So just know that I know that you can probably see my underwear. I know. You don't have to tell me. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> so let's just start with tops. So this is the first thing. It's baby pink, navy, and white. And it's just a hoodie, has a little drawstring, here's the back. Um, this is really warm and I've already worn it. It's really like, it's not super thick, but it's like cozy and warm enough to wear in the fall. And it's super cute and stylish. And this was $13 which I think is a really good price. The next thing that I got is just this basic t-shirt. Um, the majority of it is white, as you can see, but on the front there's the red collar, the navy blue, and then the red here. And um, this is just like a basic t-shirt. Um, I got it for more like my comfy days or whatever, whatever. This was $10. So this next shirt is just like a nice button up. I tie the front because I don't really like it super long. Um, there's another button up here, but I kind of like it open. Uh, this pocket is not real, <laughs> but yeah, it's just a plain button up. I like this because it's comfortable and um, I don't know, I can wear it just like a regular t-shirt, but I just look a little bit more like put together. Looks like I tried a little bit more. Um, the shirt was $10. So this shirt is a basic white shirt, but it has cherries on it. And what I like most about this shirt is that the cherries are sewn on. They're not printed on. Um, but yeah, it's just a basic shirt. I really like it because it's like a basic white tee, but there's still like a bit of style to it and it looks like I actually tried. Um, this shirt is $13. So this shirt is just like a light gray and white striped shirt. It has this twist in the front which is made into the shirt. You can't really adjust it or anything. Um, it's short, but it's not super cropped so I can just like probably wear it with like high-waisted pants and get away with it um but yeah, it's just a basic t-shirt um the shirt was seven dollars I wasn't gonna get it um but I got a shirt just like it from there last school season but instead of the twist it has buttons but um I lost a button as you can see so I got this one <laughs> To replace this one um just because I like like the look of the gray and the white stripes I feel like it just looks cool I feel like it's cutesy um it's like a regular t-shirt you can just chill in but I feel like I still look like girly that's like my whole vibe this school is like where I can be comfortable and relaxed but also look like I have my life together so this shirt is short as well, but I can probably get away with it. Um, I don't know. My school has a strict dress code, but they're kind of relaxing this year. 
so hopefully I can get away with it. If not, I'll just put a jacket on this, whatever. But it's a white, like, ribbed shirt, and there's, like, red lettuce trim, and it says baby doll in cursive, and, um, this shirt was $7. I really like this shirt. It's sort of tight. Oh, let me shake back. It's sort of tight, but I do like the fit. I like that it's tight. Um, I feel like it'd go well with like some looser pants, and that's what I needed. So, so this shirt, I see it on Instagram all the time. So I bought it because I really like it, but here's the problem. This part is not like tight. I want it to be tight because they have like the wrap around or whatever. But it's just not tight, which isn't really a problem. Also, I wish this was longer because I know when I bought it, the like person that was wearing it had it tied in this little knot too. But I just wish it was longer because I want it in a bow. But the only way I'd have a bow is if it was in the back. I don't know. I need to figure something out. Because I really like it, but I just feel like it doesn't look right on me. Um... But this shirt was eight dollars, so which is not bad at all. Okay, so this shirt is a short gray t-shirt, and it has a little black outline of a planet on it. Um, yeah. So no, this was nine dollars. Yeah. Okay, nine dollars, and I really love it. But I am a space nerd. Like, that's kind of what I want to do in my career is like work with space. So. That might just be my preference, but I do like the simplicity of it, so I think it was worth it. So this shirt was actually my most expensive shirt. It was $15, but I feel like I'll wear it the most just because I love bell sleeves and I love, like, white sh shirts. Um, so I feel like it was worth it. Um, it's kind of ribbed, as you can see, but there's, like, different sizing of the ribbed or whatever. Um, and it's crossed over. And, um, I don't know. I really love it. Okay, so this hoodie, uh, I'm not wearing a shirt under it, but whatever. I probably won't. <laughs> this was $11, and there's tape on me. Okay, so it's just like a white hoodie, but they have these red and blue stripes. And then the strings say Champion League. And yeah, like I said, it's just a basic white hoodie, but um, I needed to grow my hoodie collection, and I, why is my hair, okay, and I just love the simplicity of the stripes, which just adds so much to it. So I didn't actually get this from she, and I got this shirt from Target, but I don't know how much it was, because my mom was telling my grandma that I needed some solid colored shirts, and she just bought this one for me. So, I don't know how much it was, but the sleeves are, like, kind of baggy, kind of like a bell sleeve, but they come back in. They have that crossover thing, and it is cropped, and it's also, like, kind of low-cut. Luckily, I don't really have boobs, but I will probably have to wear, like, a tank top under it to get away with it at school, or, like, tape it. Or something, I don't know, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear this low cut of a shirt to school. Okay, so this shirt I got from Rick Forever 21, actually, and along with the last of my shirts. Um, this was $7.90, and honestly, I wasn't, like, really in love with it. I didn't really like it that much, but I tried it on with some of the pants that I bought. And I really like it. I really think it was worth it. And I needed some plain colored shirts. I probably wouldn't wear a black bra with it. But that's fine. Okay, so this shirt has the wraparound thing like the honey shirt. But it's long how I wanted it. So it would have a big bow. Um, and it's just it's one of those crossover things too. I don't know why got three of them this year. I've never actually owned one of these type of shirts before and it kind of reminds me of like a nursing shirt. But I like it. And it's just plain black. This was $10.90. Okay, so this last shirt was $12.90. Um, 
It's a long sleeve black ribbed shirt and it's actually a bodysuit, but I didn't clasp it because I'm super lazy. Here's the thing. I hate bodysuits. They're the worst. Someone did as well. Anyway, I hate them. I don't like how they feel. But I got one, so we'll see if I actually end up wearing it. I probably will wear it about once or twice. We'll see. Anyway, this was my last shirt, so moving on to bottoms. Okay, so I didn't buy this yellow tube top for school. I just have it, so it won't get in the way of my clothes. But anyway, I just have these like high waisted ruffle weed wide leg pants. They're navy blue and white striped with a black bow. I actually thought that these were black striped online, but then I got them and they had navy blue stripes. But these were eleven dollars um, from Shein. All my bottoms are from Shein. Okay, so I also have these navy blue and white striped pants. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have bought both, but like I said, I thought the other ones were black. Um, but they're the same design, same wide legs. So these were $11 as well. And I don't know, I really love this style of pants. I feel like they look really mature, really cute and girly, but they're so comfortable. So... These pants are just this fiery orange color. They have these ruffles and they're open on my my calf or my shin. This is my shin. Okay. Um, they tie right here, so I'll show you. They come open and then you just tie it. They're plain on the back, but these were twelve dollars, and I kind of have a love hate relationship with them because, like, I love them. Then at the same time, I don't know. They're like, okay, I don't know. I'll just have to style them right. Okay, so I am in love with these pants. And I've been wearing them for a while, but I knew they were going to be too hot for summer. So I was just waiting for back to school clothes, but they're just these black high-waisted pants. They have these gold buttons. And they're like stretchy. I don't know, but I just love them. I'm like out of breath from trying on gloves. <laughs> but they're tight on my butt and my legs. But then they're like loose. I mean my thighs. And then they're like loose on my legs. And I don't know. I just really love these. These kind of look like those leggings that make your butt look big. But they're like more like I don't know. So these shorts back up um i love as well they're just plain like blue and white striped they have a cuffed edge <sighs> they have these like cute little buckles what about that? and i just love them they're kind of short but i feel like because they're kind of baggy not like super tight maybe i can get away with it and these were nine dollars okay so this is just a blue and white striped skirt um I got a lot of stripes this year, but I have these white buttons and this bow, and honestly, it kind of reminds me of, like, a chef's apron, but I kind of love that. <laughs> um, it's high-waisted, and it was $10, and I love it. It's kind of short, see, but I can probably get away with it. It's not like I do a whole lot at school anyway, except just sit around. These are just, like, black grid shorts. They have that same like ruffle top with the back up same like ruffle top with the bow. Um, I love these. They're super soft, super comfortable. These are ten dollars as well. Totally worth it. Um, I really love this store. Their stuff is so cheap, and these are such good quality. Like these are really gonna last. So this is just like a white corduroy skirt, buttoned in the front. It's scalloped. Um, it's not sh that short, it's sort of long, um, 
definitely feels long skirt, but like a long mini skirt. <laughs> that makes sense um this was nine dollars and it's kind of thin but if you wear like like underwear that's like close to your skin tone it's probably not a problem so i have these orange shorts um they're kind of like have like a brown undertone to them um i really love them they're kind of like silky these were ten dollars and they have the same kind of cut as the black ones with the ruffle and the bow and the like wide kind of thing okay so this is like my last bottom and then I'll go to like skirts I have a jumpsuit too but I mean not skirts dresses <laughs> but this is just a black chain skirt it has these cute little pockets that are basically um, not really useful because they're so short or whatever and it laces up right here in the front and I don't know I really like it it's kind of like frayed on the edge if you can see that and this skirt was eleven dollars it's kind of jegging material so it's really stretchy so this dress and um the rest of the stuff except for one thing which i'll say is from shein as well and this is just like pink has some thin white stripes on it has this tie in the front these frilly sleeves and it's open in the back um, this was $9, and I already wore it once. I wore it to a quince, and my friends seemed to like it. Um, I really like it. It's kind of, like, uncomfortable because you can't really, like, lift your arms up unless you, like, lift your whole butt out. Okay, so this dress was $10, and I absolutely love it, probably because it's black and I love black dresses, but it's tight on the top tight on my waist and then it comes out which i really like that style and there's some brown buttons so it adds something to it it's a tank top um so i might have to wear a jacket with it but i'm gonna try not to um it has this bow you tie in back and yeah i just love it okay so this dress was 15 dollars and I really like it, but here's the problem. It's too big. I get an extra small in my dresses, but I got a small in this one because they didn't have an extra small. Um, it's supposed to be like, be like that tight, according to like the model that was wearing it. And well, it's not, obviously. I mean, look how much it's pulled. So I'll probably just have to get it tailored. But it, since it was $15, I just feel like that's such a bummer. But that's on me, not them, because I got the wrong size. But, I don't know, it sucks because it's just this, like, cute plaid. Like, black and gray and white, and then there's blue and pink in it. And it has these black buttons. And I just really love the dress, but I just, I just wish it was tight. So I have the opposite problem with this dress. Um, it's a bit too tight. So... <laughs> It's a bit see-through um, in my butt area. See, like you can see my underwear. And this is what I was talking about when I said I would point it out if it was too bad. This is bad. It's real see-through. Um, knowing me, I'm um, sorry to my boyfriend but and my father, but I'll probably still wear it. I might just wear like Nike spandex under it or some nude underwear or whatever. I also should wear a bra with it, but whatever. This was, um, this was $10. Okay, this was the most expensive thing I bought and this was the last thing I got from Shein. It's a polka dot jumpsuit and it's $18. It's, <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, so the straps, <laughs> just shrimp real quick. You tie them yourself, obviously, since I just moved my arm and they fell. I didn't tie them tight enough, but I just tied them real quick. Um, it has pockets, which is great because not a lot of things do, and they're like real pockets. Just like the pants that I got, they're wide leg, but they're like tight on my body, tight on my butt, and then they flare out right under my butt. And I love these so much. So yeah, they're $18, and that's the most expensive thing I bought. So, this was the last thing 
I got this at Marshalls, which I wasn't planning on getting this, but I went to Marshalls with my mom, and then she told me I should. And you just, you tie this, so it's like open, wide dress, and you just tie it. It was $14, and it has these thin navy blue and white stripes. And it's just like a soft, it's like really stretchy and super soft, and I love it. Okay, so I'm just wearing that last thing, but that is it. I got 30 things, which is a lot, but each thing was under $20. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. It helps me know what you guys want to see and what you guys like to see. If you guys like me, if you like this video, if you like my voice or my face or whatever, please subscribe. That helps me a lot. And comment down below what you guys want to see in like the next videos in the future. And I'll see what I can do to make that happen. Till next time. Bye.